Hi guys, this is Victor from Web Automation again. Uh, I'm here with an exciting video of how you can extract data from allrecipes.com. Uh, so the internet is full of so many cooking recipes, but by far the most popular websites for cooking recipes is allrecipes.com with thousands and thousands of recipes. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can quickly, without writing any code, in a few clicks, extract all the recipe information uh, from recipes on allrecipes.com. So for today's exercise, I'm going to scrape some Hall of Fame recipes, which are some of the most popular recipes uh, in the last uh, few years. Uh, so all I need to do is first of all, head over to webautomation.io, which is our website. Um, you need to sign up for a free trial. Um, we do a very generous free trial, so that should be able to give you enough credits to be able to run the scrapers. Once you have registered, I've already signed up, you need to go into the marketplace. So the marketplace has a lot of predefined web scrapers, which are web scrapers already built. So you don't need to build again. You just need to click a few buttons and you will search for all recipes. There we go. There's our all recipe scraper. Um, so you can read about what the all recipe scrapers does. Uh, and you can actually see some screenshots of what kind of information you get. You could even scroll a bit down and get and see what the data looks like uh, if you were to uh, download it in a CSV format. But let's let's dive in. Um, so I'm just going to click the big button use for free. This takes us into our in app of the application. Uh, all you need to do is activate and confirm you want to go ahead. Brilliant. Now, all you need to do is put in the link for the search URL you want to scrape. So I've got already this filtered of the Hall of Fame recipes. All I need to do is copy this URL, go back into my tool and paste and then update. Voila. We're ready to go. So all you need to do is press the big run button. Wow, we made it. So extractor started. Uh, it's not a lot of data, so it's going to take a few minutes and we would have our data ready to download in CSV, XML, XLX, JSON, or even JSON line or we can use our API to also get the data. So I give it a couple of minutes, I put the video on pause, come back so we can see what data we have. So guys, uh, there we have it. Uh, just in a few minutes, we're able to get the data completed and we can see status is completed. So let's download the data and see what we have. Uh, so we can choose any format. I'm gonna choose Microsoft Excel because I have that open already. And I'll save that to my local drive. And let's see what information we have. And drum roll. Voila, this is our aha moment. We have all the information we want. So we have the cooking time. We have the description. We even have the direction so you can see everything you need to do. We've got the images. We've got the ingredients, uh, prep time, number of servings, title, uh, total amount of time, and the URL, and how many servings you can get. So I've shown you very quickly how in just a few clicks, in just a few minutes, you are able to extract data from allrecipes.com without having to write any code or build an extractor from scratch. Amazing. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you at the next video. Let me know if you have any questions by putting in some comments in the comment section below. See you later.